Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at this example over here. We are told that a process has a transfer function of the following function given and we are also given different values and different scenarios. We're given k is equals to 2, process time constant 1 it's 10 and time constant 2 it's 2. We are also given different scenarios with different process time constants. We are told for each case obtain the process response curve in the time domain for a step input of magnitude 0 0.5 and plot the response curve with k being the process gain. Okay, let's start now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to locate your Laplace transformation table. I'm going to open the process control and dynamics textbook by Dale. If you go to page 42, chapter 3, you should find this table here with different transfer functions and their time domains. Looking at the given function, if we had to directly transpose it into its time domain, we would choose point number 12, but we are told that it's for a step input with a magnitude of 0 0.5. So since there's a step change in our process, we are going to to look at point number 23. For start, you can write down the function that you're given. Secondly, you can write down its step input. Its step input, you just multiply it by 1 over s. Thirdly, locate it on the Laplace transformation table and we are going to transpose it into its time domain. After converting it into its time domain, you can therefore substitute the given values. We are given magnitude as 0 0.5 and different process time constants. Now, we are going to look at each scenario. For case 1, we have 20. Substitute 20 in there. For case 2, we have 4, substitute 4 in there for case 3 and case 4 seemingly substitute the given values. Now that we've substituted everything, the next step is to plot the curve. You can either plot it with pen and paper or you can plot it on Excel. I'm going to use Octave to plot my function. If I open Octave, I'm going to work on my editor section. I'm going to write down each equation per case and for the time, I'm going to calculate this with a time scale of 0 to 50 with a spacing of 1. So for my case 1, it will be plotted at circles, solid line, and a blue. For my second case, case two, I'm going to plot it at circles, solid line, and the color purple or manganet. Case three, we can make it black. And for case four, we can make it yellow. You can also show your legends, title your graph, and your axis. If you're happy with everything, you can run the file and you should now have your function. I really hope this makes sense. If you have any other questions, do let me know. But other than that, thank you so much for watching.